morning beautiful people my name is mutombo and i am an electrical engineer living in Douala. actually the time now is 7 30 and i need to be at work by 8 so i don't have much time to talk believe it or not 30 minutes is not enough time to get from my home to my work yeah let's get to work This is the only way that I'm not going to be late. Step one, wake up, really gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, can everybody do? Let me just update you before I enter. So the bike rider that I took had such a foul attitude, but that guy, that guy did know all the shortcuts and all the ways to evade traffic. Like we didn't even spend two seconds in traffic, you know? So yeah, we thank God for that. Before we go on with the day's activities, I want to take you back to my first week at work and catch you guys up on how that week went. My first week was filled with training and lots of studying, as if I've not done enough studying in my life. But I actually had this 300 page document to read. And this document just explains and describes the system that we work on and basically how it functions, how the components on our network interact with each other. And this system is the company's main product so i did have to master this system before i could actually do any effective work in the office i also used the first week to get to know some of my colleagues a bit better and kind of just get a general sense of the vibe in the office <laughs> i did so much studying during that first week and in fact even up to today i'm still constantly learning on the job when does learning ever end it never ends on my second day there i received my work laptop which is what i'm actually studying on and on the third day i received my work phone <laughs> I collaborate a lot with my colleagues because I am still learning the protocols that we use in the office for certain situations and all of that. I'm taking over my colleague's desk. But I saw you feeling it now. Why is it not? Maybe I'm opening another phone. Think I've opened another phone. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I remember. I don't think I'll come here. Okay, let me just go from up and go step by step. I mean, I already have a bunch of tasks that have been assigned to me and that I can actually do well without supervision or without needing too much, you know, back and forth clarification. But we work with a very vast and diverse system. And the truth of the matter is that new situations or new scenarios come up all the time. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. So we are on our way to the site. Okay. The day in the life. location that we we're supposed to visit sorry i've not shown much because this is actually a training and um, i actually wanted to focus on what they're explaining to me and what they're teaching me i think in the next one i'll be able to capture more The 
the gate is you know a bunch of bars so you can see this from outside otherwise i don't think i'm going to show anything that you know the public cannot actually see you know just just so i don't get in trouble <laughs> The company I work for is a telemetry company. Telemetry is basically a system that measures and collects data from remote sources and transmits it wirelessly to a location where that data can actually be exploited and used. So as a simple example, in commercial agriculture, we could have sensors in the soil that measure the soil moisture content and transmit that information to say a computer that would just tell farmers the amount of water in the soil and possibly even calculate when next they would need to water the soil. That basically is telemetry. So telemetry can be found in so many different industries, but the specific industry that we deal with is telecommunications. To achieve and maintain a telemetry system, there are so many different moving parts and so many teams. We have people on the field who actually do the physical installations and you know the physical checking of the equipment that we have on site. And as for me specifically, I am an analyst, so I need to understand exactly how the equipment on the field functions and you know how everything is connected, how everything works, even though in my day-to-day -day life, I'm not going to be going to the field. Là maintenant tu testes et tu tires le câble pour voir si ça ne sort pas. Voilà. Comme tu sais qu'il n'y a pas le courant là, il n'y a pas de souci. Les matériels en commun, oui. on ajoute seulement selon le dernier qu'on a utilisé ici. Mm -hmm. Ok, ok, ok. C'est pas qu'on lui ça à quelque part. Bon, s'il si y a sur, sur l'équipement, tu, tu donnes. Ok. Mm -hmm. On a dit que ça c'est gêné. Bien dans l'autre, voilà. Donc, euh, maintenant là-bas, là-bas, il n'y a pas de polarité. Tu branches, sur, tu sais que tu as branché ça sur normal et open. Oui. Voilà, tu branches seulement un en haut, un en bas. Ok, ok, j'ouvre ici. Non, non, ça sera trop loin. Je vais ouvrir ici pour que. Ah uh ah. -huh. Oui. C'est bien. C'est si comme c'est déjà connecté sur le contrôleur, c'est excité, non Pas ça. Ça, le data qui est. Non, non, il n'y a pas de, il y a pas de tension là. Ok, c'est ça qui envoie. Oui. Ok, ok. C'est juste un contact ça simple, est... voilà. So when we work with material, we take note of the material used. Parce que là-bas c'était la longueur. Ok. 101 cm. C'est la hauteur maintenant. Mes ambas. 102. Photo evidence to, to the office. The office. We have to physically verify the current values that are being supplied to the equipment over there. So that's what we're checking now. Pardon, epaisseur. Okay, zero virgule quatre centim. Okay. So we're done with this side. We're packing up our material, disconnecting everything, the laptop, go back in the bag. Okay, we finished with the first side. Oh, sorry, with the second side. I hope you guys have learned a bit about my J-O-B. This will really not be my day-to-day -day job, but this is one of the days that I had on the field and I decided to share that because I know this will be rare. So, on to the next one. Goodness, it's so hot outside. It's a grind through the climb, I invite pain. You never hear me bitch, nah, I don't complain. Just gotta be this what you need to go and obtain. Anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key. With the negativity, but I just slide right by that energy. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when you feel low, you can still go.
I'm so tired. It's 4 p.m. So I'm back home now and even here there is no electricity. Wow. Ooh, I feel so hot. Okay, I think I'm going to shower before anything. Like first things first, I'm going to shower. Yeah. Alright. Low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer me, no man, I still go. Go, go, 